know, I hope that the, the people who are watching this documentary wake up because if we don't wake up and we wake up soon and begin to pay attention to the policies that are being implemented by our elected officials and pay attention to who we elect and put in office to represent us, then we're going to be so far gone and we won't be able to be saved. Initially thinking this was a good thing, we're going to bring peace and stability to the world by bringing, you know, uh, the communist China into the world market. Uh, it has backfired on us. And what they have done is uh, they have said, no, you're the frog and we're basically gonna slow boil you, we're gonna co-opt you, we're gonna get you so dependent upon us that uh, we don't really even have to turn up the heat and boil you, eventually you're just gonna sit there and drown. The Defense Secretary of China, who have said, we wanna conquer America. China needs living space, like Hitler used to say. There are only three countries in the world where we can colonize. America, one of them, Canada, and Australia. When they took power, the first thing they do Action number one, take the guns away. If folks took over, they, they control your stomach by not giving you food. And then when they had totally control your stomach and they will tell you exactly what to do. We don't want to live under communism in America. Those of us that have experienced communism know how terrible that is. But at least we had America. We could come here. Where would I go if communism comes here? Hugo Chavez took power. Cubans warn us that we were following exactly the same path they did during their early years of socialism and communism. But unfortunately, the population refused to believe Cubans. And now we pay the consequence, right? And now I'm seeing the same thing. Venezuelans and also Cubans are warning Americans that we are following a really similar path. The amendment is not about perpetuating deer hunting or target shooting or any of that. The, the founders saw this as a right that was necessary to protect freedom. If you remember at Lexington Concord, why did we stand there and fire the shot heard round the world? The British were coming to the armory to try to take the powder and the weapons. If you take away the weapons on the people of the United States, you are taking their freedom. If we don't get this right, we're gonna be Venezuela on steroids, and that's where we're going. Cubans warn us that we were following exactly the same path they did during their early years of socialism and communism. But unfortunately, the population refused to believe Cubans. And now we pay the consequence, right? And now I'm seeing the same thing. Venezuelans and also Cubans are warning Americans that we are following a really similar path. Like something straight out of a communist country. See, I used to say socialist, but we've skipped socialism. We don't talk about that. I don't even mention it anymore. We're not socialists anymore. We're communists. We've gone over socialism. We're gone. It's over. It's communist. They're talking about communists. It's a communist system that we're putting up with right now. We don't want to live under communism in America. Those of us that have experienced communism know how terrible that is. But at least we had America. We could come here. Where would I go if communism comes here? The country is going to collapse. It's no place in this world to go. And this is going to be the end of our freedom. Okay, you've just seen an incredibly powerful film, How to Cook a Frog. Now, the reality is you have to take action to make sure, one, you're not boiled, and two, your country's not boiled. This action is totally upon you. You've got the information, now it's time to take action. What, what we need to do is you need to be a force multiplier. You need to take this film, you need to push it out everywhere. What you need to do also is have some viewings in your home, talk to you about your friends, not just your close colleagues, not just people that watch War Room or people that are your uh, compatriots. Go to your neighbors, go to your family, go to people right now who have no earthly idea what's going on. That's how you can be a force multiplier. This film took a lot of time to make. You can tell by the beautiful cinematography and the tight production, uh, the care and uh, love was put into it. Now it's upon you to take action, action, action. Thank you.